I usually throw all my bread into one big bag, heels of this, toes of this. Today, unfortunately, all I have is some leftover crusty bread, and that's what I'm going to use. A lot of recipes will tell you to cut into little cubes. I'm not that fancy. I just do exactly like I've done since I was wee, tear it by hand. So I have about 10 pieces, depending on the size of the bowl you're going to use. I'm going to use about a nine by something and something. I'm going to use 10 pieces. Okay, let's get started. Going to whisk together three eggs. Whisk, whisk, whisk. That's how you do it where I live. You actually have to say the word, otherwise it doesn't work. One and a half cups of white sugar, two tablespoons of brown sugar, plop, plop, half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I like cinnamon, so I'm doing a generous amount there. Stirring that around, really nothing to see, so I'm not gonna let you look. Going to add to that one quarter cup of melted butter. That's it. That's mostly all the ingredients. Give a last little whisk. While I'm whisking that, I'm going to pour in three cups of homogenized milk. I think that's called whole milk. There we go. Oh, maybe I'll go a little slower. Oh shit. Okay, no whisking, just stirring. Let's pour the rest in. Now most recipes call for raisins, which is quite nice also, but my family doesn't care that much for raisins. So today I'm going to use one cup of cranberries. Makes no never mind. You could use dried apricots. You could use any dried fruit or no fruit at all. All right, I'm now going to slowly add in my bread. Get a little mix up. Mix it together. You want to just gently toss it because you don't want to end up with dressing. You want to still have some nice big cubes. Now, let's prepare our pan. I'm going to give it a little spray. And now very gently, I'm going to pour this right into the pan. Don't be concerned if you see a lot of liquid. That is totally going to be evaporated into the bread. Now I'm going to put that into a 375 degree oven for about 50 minutes. After which it's probably going to be nice and golden brown. I'm going to cover it in tin foil. Don't want it to brown any more than that and then cook it for another 30. I'll be right back. While the bread pudding is cooking in the oven, I am now going to make a caramel sauce. One cup of packed brown sugar. Packed. That sucker's packed. Four tablespoons of butter. I'm using salted butter. I usually use unsalted, but half a cup of half and half cream. And because we like our caramel sauce, a little salty, I'm gonna add another pinch of salt. Let's put that on the stove and we'll go from there. We are going to stir this for about five to seven minutes. And it really depends on how thick you like it. We like ours fairly thin. So we're probably going to go for about five minutes. It's quite runny, but we like it that way. It really soaks up nicely into whatever dessert you are pouring it on. Now, let's remove that from the heat and add to it one half teaspoon of vanilla. Done. This has been in the oven now for 50 minutes and that's just how I like it. Nice and golden on the top. Zoom in a little bit. You can still see there's liquid. Let's put tin foil on top of it, cook it for another 30 minutes. This has been in for 30 minutes with the tin foil on. Let's have a little boo at it. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's take it out, let it rest for 10 minutes. Let's cut a nice big corner out of this bread pudding. See how we're doing. It's just like pudding, it's soft. I like the outside because it's crunchy. Oh my goodness, there we go. Let's add to that our caramel sauce. By the way, the kitchen smells of caramel and sugar. It's just a real good place to be. So here we go. Oh my golly. Let's just go crazy on the caramel sauce. Why not? And there you have it. Bread pudding, only a few ingredients. Use leftover bread, throw it in the freezer, make it every few months. Just the simplest dessert you could ever make. Give it a whirl. Ciao for now.